populating a citation manager. Now the citation manager that I'm using is Bibdesk, which is free and open source. It's for the Mac. There are others that are similar to it for other operating systems, uh, but what I'm going to show you today is just uh, Bibdesk for the map for the Mac. Um, and what you'll see here, here's Bibdesk. I've got a host of citations in here that I use in my works. Um, and if I double click on any one of them, um, you'll see that uh, my citations are complete. They have uh, reference information so I can cite them properly. Um, but if any of you are like me, the last thing that you want to be doing is uh, typing in all this information, right? It's uh, no fun, it's boring, etc. So I'm going to show you a way to have these fields populated automatically um, so that you can later integrate this information into a LaTeX document or anything that you're writing. Um, so all you need to do this is uh, Bibdesk, which I have, again, free and open source, uh, and Google Scholar. So you want to go to Google Scholar, um, which is scholar.google.com. You see that up here. And uh, just type in uh, some identifying information for a book or an article. I want to look at uh, a book. It's called uh, Odessa by Charles King. I want to add that. Um, it's, the autofill has uh, filled this in already, so I'm going to select Odessa, Genius and Death in a City of Dreams. It's a book that I want to add to my citation manager. So I look for it on Google Scholar, and we see here Google Scholar recognizes this as a book. Uh, it's been cited by a few people. Um, I want to cite it in my own work, so I hit the Cite button right here. And uh, here we have some options for citations. If I want to manually enter them uh, into a Word document, I can do that. But as I mentioned, I work with LaTeX, um, uh, a typesetting program. Uh, and there are much better ways to manage uh, citations than adding them uh, manually. So I'm going to choose down here, Import into BibTeX. BibTeX is a general format uh, that works with BibDesk, uh, which is a software that I'm using. So I'm going to hit Import into BibTeX, and you'll see that uh, reference or citation information comes up as sort of like a text file uh, within my browser. What I want to do is uh, select this, so I'm just going to do Command A, select all, and then Command C for copy. Then I'm going to go over to Bibdesk. Here I'm toggling with uh, Command and Tab. It's a really convenient way uh, to, to toggle between windows. So I'm going to go over to Bibdesk, um, and what I'm going to do is add uh, this uh, publication. I'm not going to do it manually. This is annoying. No one wants to do this. So what I'm going to do is uh, go up here to publication and you'll see there's an option, a second option, new publications from clipboard. I'm going to choose that because I copied, I selected all and copied in my browser. This is integrated with Bibdesk and King 2001 Odessa has shown up in my uh, master bibliography. I'm going to double click on that and you'll see that the reference information uh, is already populated in here. So I've added this to my master bibliography and then can integrate it like any other resource or reference into a LaTeX document. What I want to do though is make sure I save uh, that edition. Um, and of course I chose a book but we can go back to Google Scholar um, and we could uh, choose an article perhaps that we're interested in. Um, just as an example, Bob Putnam published a couple years ago a piece called E Pluribus Unum. Let's search for that. Here it is, been cited a number of times. Again, there's a cite key on Google Scholar. I'm going to select that. Go down to import into BibTeX. Select all and copy. Go over to BibDesk. Go up to the publication menu, new publications from clipboard, and we'll see Putnam 2007 Pluribus has been added. I actually already had that in my bibliography, uh, but that's okay. Um, and you can see, again, all the fields have automatically been populated here 
Um, the site key is what's really crucial for LaTeX. You can amend that, do anything you want with it, make it distinct. Um, I'm just going to delete this because, again, I already have it. Very easy to delete. Save my changes. And there you go. You've automatically populated uh, your bibliography in BibDesk using Google Scholar.